But God is faithful. Amen. He will bring it back. Amen. 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 I miss the time we're having school of ministry and success. Mm-hmm. I miss the time we're having a apostle prophet come mm-hmm. to minister to us. Yeah. You know, but it's okay. Let us show our our love for God that be faithful. Hallelujah. Amen. I wanna. I want to also pray, bless God, for people that interested for me when I wasn't there. Amen. God bless you for everything. Amen. Amen. There is also that, I want to also bless um, two of my spiritual sons that did a wonderful job when I wasn't there. Amen. Amen. Elder Freddy and Papa Angelo. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You guys did very well. Amen. It wasn't easy. <laughs> Preaching Sunday morning is not easy. But you guys did well. Come on, clap your hands for them. Both times. If you feel yourself that God bless you with the ability to preach, come. I will train you and you will preach. Hey, Mama Miranda. You can preach in Arabic. Amen. Amen. Shukran quiz. Shukran bana. Amen. Amen. Aha. Rabana quiz. Rabana quiz. Amen. Amen. So yeah, God is good. I will give a short message, and then after this short message, we are going to fire prayer. <laughs> you have not done it for a long time, but we'll do it. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. Drink water. Amen. Amen. We are going to fire prayer. Amen. <laughs> if you don't pray. You are a Jakusku. Uh, if you don't pray, if you don't pray, you maybe you fly at night and I will expose you. Hallelujah. Amen. So my people online, if they are watching me, uh, get ready. We are going to pray together. And it's going to be like this to the end of the year. Uh, I'm pushed by these people to divide to 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 go against the law of Corona. Say, oh, don't gather, don't gather, we'll gather. Mm-hmm. Amen. Very soon we're going to have good service. Oh, yes, we will. Oh, I said we will. Amen. Amen. Uh-huh. Nobody will die here. Mm-hmm. I said nobody will die here. Amen. So, um, we are going to go in the fasting. Amen. We are going to go in the fasting starting next week. Amen. Monday, everybody before the Lord. We are going to go three days, six to six. There are some people they never fast, uh, but if you don't fast, the Lord will catch you. Amen. Amen. I'll give information in the Facebook of the church, and you may receive text messages six to six, three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I'll give a longer one, and then we're gonna meet on the conference line. Remember when we were on the conference line all night uh, at night, midnight, one o'clock, we are going to meet there. Hallelujah. Uh, clap your hands for Jesus. Now, uh, you need to understand that it will be powerful because I'll invite my friend, Prophet, uh, Prophet, uh, Prophet Botan, uh, Prophet Stephanie, Pastor, Pastor Landry, Apostle G, to come and minister on the conference line. Amen. It will be fire. Amen. Amen. The reason why the Lord told me to do this is the Lord told me that He has gone down. Eh? Uh, the things are going down. It is hard for you to wake up and pray, but it is okay. It happens times where things go down, but you must not stay down. You must get up. Hallelujah. Amen. I say you must get up. Amen. I said you must get up. Oh, I said you must get up. Amen. You must get up. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. On service, you know service hours. Tell people, eh? Corona is not a good reason to stay home and sleep. Here we do social distancing. You can come with your mask and you sit in the corner somewhere, service is over, you go home. Uh, there is, then there is water, there is a um, sanitizer in the front. Hallelujah. Sanitizer in the front, you sanitize your hand, you don't touch nobody, you go home when you are done. You don't have to touch nobody, it's not me. You are protecting yourself. But it's not a good reason to stay home and sleep. How can you go to Walmart where it is even more dangerous? And the house of the Lord and you are using arguments. <laughs> and you know Pastor Eric is not going to shut his mouth. Mm-hmm. 
So tell people that don't make it to church, tell them the church is open. We have two services from, 12, some, from 10 to 11.30 and then from 12 to 1.30. Come sit down and hear the word of God. Anointing is good, but anointing that goes through Facebook, you need a lot of concentration. But then when you are at the church and you are connected to the chair of the church, and the altar is right in front of you. You can feel that something is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So don't let fear take over. Eh? Break fear. Amen. Amen. If God wanted you to die, you go. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If God wanted you to die, you wouldn't be here. You could have been gone a long time ago. We are careful, yes. But we must worship our God. I do not hear you. Amen. 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 So please. I know right now it's going bad, but don't worry. We will pray. We will pray. We will pray. God told me pray. 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 Just pray. We will do that. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. amen. God bless you guys. I'm very happy again, like I said, to be here. Amen. And God is wonderful. And God is glorious. I want to greet all my friends from online that are watching me. Amen. Uh, God bless you. Please share the, please share the, uh, the, how you call it? Please share the, the video. Amen. Share, share it. Invite somebody. We'll be very pleased. And at the same time, please take your Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 9. I'll preach small preaching and then we're going to pray. Amen. Ella, small preaching and we are, we are going to fire prayer. Amen. Like we used to do. Amen. We will pray until we are thirsty. Hallelujah. Amen. I did not hear you. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and share, 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 share. Kindly share. There are some people they share the picture on social media, but when you come to the church, they put the church in the background. God bless you for that. God bless you well, well. Amen. 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 Share it, share it, share it. I'll give a small word, and then we are going to pray. Amen. You are ashamed of your church. God bless you. Thank you very much. You are ashamed of your pastor. God bless you too. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Amen. Amen. But then you are not ashamed of your car. You are not ashamed of your best friend. You are not ashamed of your pictures. Thank you. Share the message so somebody can hear it. I have a word from the Lord. Small word. Right now we are studying the kingdom parables. We'll be done with that very soon. And then we are going to tackle spiritual warfare and the mind of the Christian. Hallelujah. Mm. And then this is where it's going to get fire. Amen. In the book of Matthew chapter 9 verse 14 to 17. Matthew chapter 9 verse 7, 14 to 17. If somebody is a good reader, please help with that. Otherwise, I'll get to read. Amen. Please invite your friend. I want to salute everyone online. I see Sister Sophia. May God bless you. I see my daughter Dana. Amen. God bless you. I see, I don't see everybody's name, but God bless you. I see Momo Pastor. God bless you. Hallelujah. May the anointing and the favor of the Lord locate you where you are. Hallelujah. The Bible says he has anointed me above all my, uh, the, my, my brethren. Hallelujah. There is an anointing that takes you above everything. Above everybody. There is an anointing that catapult you. Whether you like it or not, it makes it easy for you to jump higher. And I want to prophesy that over your life. In Jesus' name. Go ahead and read. Matthew 9 verse 14. Uh -huh. Then the disciples of John came to him saying, Come on. Why do we and the Pharisees fast often? Come on. But your disciples do not fast. Come on. And Jesus said to them, uh -huh. Can the friends of the bridegroom mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? Yes. But the day will come when yes. the bridegroom will be taken away from them. Uh -huh. And then they will fast. Yes. No one puts a piece of unshrunk clothes mm -hmm. on an old garment. So the Bible says, if you have your Bible underline this part, it says, no one put a piece of unshrunk clothes. Amen? Amen. 
on on an old garment for the patch okay pulls away from the garment and the the the, the and tear is made worse hallelujah keep reading my, my sister long to that put new wine into old white skins come on or else the white skins break uh -huh. the wine is spilled uh -huh. Verse 17. And the wine skins are ruined. Okay. But they put new wine into new wine skins and both are preserved. Okay. Uh, keep okay, it's fine now. Hallelujah. God bless you. Today I'm going to talk to you about to be awakened. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God bless us. Lead us today, take control and speak to somebody. Amen. Amen. Clap your hand for Jesus. <laughs> I say clap your hand for Jesus. I took some time off, like I said, to think, to project. I took some time off to, to look at the spiritual atmosphere. I took some time off to study things. You know, sometimes you have to take a picture of yourself to see how how much how much you have gained weight, and compare your old picture and your new picture, and see some changes. So I took time off, and I went to talk with the Lord, and I asked God, "Tell me about the spiritual atmosphere of the moment." And the Lord began to talk to me. Let me tell you something. In the kingdom of God, we have our eyes open. The other day, there is a guy that was called to curse the people of God. He said, he said, he said, he said, Balaam, son of God, the one that has his eye open. And I say, God, this is a divine, this is a divine, a, a fake prophet. How come he comes and he says, he has his eye open? He said, my son, in the realm of the spirits, we walk not by sight, but by faith. But we have another eyes. When Apostle Paul said, open the eyes of my heart, open, open the understanding of our, of our mind. In fact, he's trying to say, open the eyes of our spirits so we can see. People of God, I am coming to open your eyes onto some stuff you don't see. Sometimes you have a small picture of events, but it's better to have a big picture of things. I did not hear you, amen. amen. Hallelujah. So now Jesus come and he begin to teach that at least 40 one of 46 parables in the Bible. We will try to cover some of it. And as Jesus began to teach, he met a group of people called the Pharisees. And they asked him a question. No, actually, the disciple of John. And they asked him a question. Why is it that your disciples are not fasting like the Pharisees? There's so much to talk about. We talk about it at the Bible study. And Jesus answered, said, What? Would the groove the 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 the, the, the uh, take me to verse um fourteen, actually fifteen. He says, "Will the the friends of the bridegroom mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the day will come when the bridegroom will be taken away." Talking about himself, he said, "There will be a day where I'll be taken away." When I am taken away, then they are fasting. There is a whole lot of revelation about this. That, that's not my point. And then Jesus goes on and he gives a parable. In one of the parables, Jesus says, He says, uh, verse, uh, verse 16, He says, No one puts a piece of unshrunk uh, clothes on an old garment. Say, Jesus. What you are saying right here, what does it have to do with the question?
session of fasting we just told you. We are speaking about fasting. Why is your disciple are not fasting? And you are talking about clothes. And then you are talking about old clothes and new clothes. What does it mean? Let me tell you something. The kingdom of God is full of parables. The kingdom of God is full of things that you don't see. The full of kingdom of God is full of unseen and unsaid things. But the Bible said, <laughs> when I was fasting, the Lord gave me a, a scripture. The Bible is where he said, let me pray. He says, he says, revelation belongs to the fathers. So the father can transfer to the sons. When you have understanding of things. He said, nobody can put a piece of unsure unsure clothes. I don't know how it look like, but the way I'm studying this moment is man, it means that a piece of nice clothes on an old clothes. So we have two things here. We have the old and we have the new. We have the past and we have the now. We have the yesterday and we have the today. He said nobody can put yesterday together with today. He said nobody can mix up the old system and the new system. In fact, nobody can mix up this old mind with the new mindset. The old represent the old, the law. The new represent the grace. He said you cannot put all that together. I didn't know how you're a man. Amen. You're a man as a polar. Amen. You cannot put together the old and the new. The old is a tradition. The new is a change. And everybody is called to change. A change of mind. A change of attitude. A change of ways to do things. A change of personality. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Telephones in the 90s are not the same telephone today. Mm -hmm. In the 90s, telephones don't have screens. But today when you look at telephone, they have screens. In the 90s, telephones have antenna. But today, when you look at telephone, they are so small. You can put it in your pocket. So things are changing. I, I want to tell you something. Look at your life, my people of God. There are so many things you need to update. Even a computer, you need to update. And then you can even update your spiritual life. Even a computer. When you come, you turn on the computer. He said, don't touch it. It is on updates. Wait. Until the update is done. It's only Christian that can update the life. So the first is come. They say, Jesus, we have an old way to do things. Jesus said, No, you are so 2000 and late. You have to update your system. The way you are fasting is not the way we fast in the kingdom. In the kingdom, we fast to murder. You, you fast to kill. Tell your neighbor, it's about your mind. We will talk. People of God, when I, I'm not bragging. When I go on the mountain and I come, God give me grace Amen. to understand some small, small stuff. Amen. I don't understand everything, but small, small. Amen. You must update some stuff about your life. Mm. Look at yourself. What is it that inspires change? Look, look at you. You that is watching me, guess you is being a soldier more than David. That's why I love the Son of God. That's why I love the Yeshua Mashiach. When he step in Jericho, when he step in Capernaum, when he step in Nazareth, they say, what is this? We have never heard this before. I am coming to prophesy. There'll be a time. People say, what is this? We have not heard the level of revelation like that before. 
Hallelujah. He said, No. Attends. Ça fait du bien de prêcher la parole, frère. He said, I don't have Corona. Relax, okay? I had a small flu. Your chief. Okay? Well, I had a small uh, a big corona from head to toe. Amen. So chill. Amen. 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 May all your corona come on me and you feel well. Je n'ai pas entendu ton amen. You are a man as a bora. I say, verse 16, 17. I will go fast so we can pray. We have to pray. Amen. He says, oh, 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 Joel has put something new here. Mm -hmm. Hey. I like that. Show, show. <laughs> he said, or else we will escape. He said, he said, no. No, do they put new wine into the old skin? The new wine has a certain quality that makes the density of it heavy. So if you put it in the old bottle, it will tear. He said, look, for a new wine, there normally has to be a new wine skin. But if you are too lazy to put a new wine onto a new wine skin and you try to put in an old wine skin, you destroy the old wine skin. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? We went from why your disciples are not fasting elder. The guy is complicated. Yes. Have you ever talked to some people a small problem become big? <laughs> we talk. We are talking about fasting. And Jesus take us from clothes. And then he's taking us to wine. What does he have to do? Say, in fact, you know what Jesus says? The good wine, the new wine, mm. is the blessing. Yes. He said, look, I am the blessing. You cannot put me in your old self. Yes, yes. Otherwise, your life will have no meaning. Yes. Some Christians come to church and then they suffer from the same demon. Mm -hmm. They used to suffer in the world and they bring in the church. Mm -hmm. And you still Christian and you suffer with the same problem. Yes. You are breaking like the wine skin. Amen. Why? God wants to put in the new. Yes. But then your skin is not renewed. Your mind is an old mind. The other day, there's a guy by the name of Jabez. The Bible says he was conceived in pain. Bible says Jabez went and prayed. He said, God. Bible says he was highly favored among his brethren. And the Bible says he went and prayed to the Lord. He said, That you will bless me. That you will expand my territory. And, and then, can we read? Oh, j'adore la parole de Dieu. J'aime ma parole. I love to cast out demons. I love to preach the gospel. You know? But then when you come to the word of God, there is something about the word of God. It makes you go cha cha cha. Hallelujah. Put for me, put for me, First Chronicle 4, 9 to 10. First Chronicle 4. Regard. If you are breaking emotionally, if you are breaking emotionally, maybe you are trying to put something new in your life that should not be put in that heart of yours. Hello. Amen. If, if, you are breaking emotionally. I'm speaking, since the people here, they are not listening. Oh, if you are sitting at home and you are watching Pastor Eric, hear me, hear me well. You are broken emotionally and you are asking God why. Why are you not blessing me? Here's the answer. God cannot bless you. Because that white skin, that heart, that mind, that body is old. Your ways of thinking are old. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, I believe, say, 
Il sait, tout vient que vous dites que les années antérieures étaient mieux que ces années. C'est là être insensé. Why are you saying that the old years are better than the new this year? Is to be fool. Your mind calculates too much. Your mind has a certain position that doesn't please God. Your mind has a certain disposition that is against the laws of God. Watch this. Watch this. He said, No Japanese was more honorable than his brothers. Can I talk? The Bible begins by his honorship. In another word, Jabez, he, he was respected by himself and by others. And his mother called him Jabez, saying, because I bore him in pain. Elder, voici un enfant. He is a young man, born in pain. But yet, Bible says he was the most honorable. It doesn't matter where you are born. It is a matter of what you're going to become after you were born again. You are born again in pain. But then you still live in pain. Bible say he was more honorable. Il avait l'honneur. Il était respecté. They honor him. They respect him. Watch this. And Jabez called on the court of Israel. Say, oh, that you bless me. Indeed. The word indeed that mean, bless me. Indeed mean, and uh, said, Philip, bless me so that nobody has something else to say. So in another, he said, oh, God, yes, I was born in pain, but I have honor. Bless me so nobody will talk. And then, then what? The blessing of the Lord, it doesn't come as drop. It comes as sea. It comes as rain. But then if I have this small container, I cannot contain the blessing of the Lord. Therefore, when you bless me, you must expand my territory. Yeah. So then, Jabez understand, it's a matter of mine. The last sentence, he says, so God greeted him what he requested. Did you know why God granted him what he, he requested? You know why? Can I tell you why? Yes. You want me to tell you why? Yes. Let me tell you something. You cannot be a slave and expect God to bless you with the crown. Yes. Yep. It is impossible. God doesn't bless slaves. He delivers slaves. Then when you are delivered, he bless you. Yes. <laughs> you know, God never bless slaves. It's wrong to bless a slave. It is against human nature. You deliver a slave, and then you bless the slave. So if you have a slave mentality, you're going to be sitting warm in the bench for a very long time. You know why God bless Jabez? It's not because he prayed. It is because Jabez took conscience of who he was, and he became more honorable. <laughs> so he has so much honor. God said, look, if I don't bless him according to his honorship, they will dishonor him. Mm -hmm. So God bless somebody depending on his rank and his mentality. See there. Don't change your mind and keep acting like an African. Okay? See there. Don't change your mind and still behave like a je ne sais pas quoi. See there. Don't, don't, we preach about the renew of the mind. Don't make room in your mind for the abundance of the Lord to come. The way you see yourself is how everybody will see you. The way you drive yourself on the streets is how everybody will treat you. Look at the guy in the suit and the jacket. And... Vous là, vous jouez avec Dieu. J'ai étudié le test, j'ai dit à Dieu, mais Seigneur, pourquoi tu le bénis comme ça? Il dit, c'est parce qu'il avait l'honneur. 
He respected himself and people respected him. <laughs> Anyways, let me continue on that. Isaiah 54. It's not even my preaching. I don't even know why I'm preaching this. Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54. <clears throat> Look at Jesus. Jesus said, I say he no no. On ne jetera. Et puis ceux qui n'ont pas là, on prend. Hein? Même le peu qu'il a, on va prendre. Jesus said, to those that have, we will give more. <laughs> but those that don't have, even the small they have, will be taken away. Hey! You know why? Because the one that doesn't have, he looked at his in hand, he has a few. The few he's looking at affect his mind. And he's saying, I will never have enough. As soon as he says, we'll never have enough, what he has is taken away. But the one that has something, he still develop his mind to increase what he has. So he has a mind that keeps on growing. He has a mind that is not steady. He has an improving mind. Even God himself said, no. We are to increase him because he speaks the language of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hello. Am I talking? Yes. Je vais regarder. When I was fasting, I asked God, oh, what is the problem? God said, it's the man. I said, how am I going to deal with the man? He said, how do you call a slave? I said, I call a slave, slave. How do you call, me? How do you call somebody that, that has a lot of goods? I said, he's rich. And what if he said, call people by the name. Don't even mash, don't even sugar coat your words. Shock, shock them. The one that are supposed to stay with you, they'll stay with you. They, because, let me tell you something. They will come in your life. Some people will leave, some people will stay. Mm -hmm. Those that stay, they are part of you. Those that don't stay, they are not part of you. Don't fight, never fight. Yes. Because if God has to take you up, if God has to take you up, some people will have to go up with you. And me, Pastor Favor, I want to go up. I want to go up. I say I want to go up. Yeah, <laughs> I say I want to go up. Yeah, and, and you don't need to pull me down. Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. So you break the word the fast. You, you have to you have to go at the speed I go. Yes. Isaiah 54, verse 2 to 4. Let me tell you something. Give meaning to your life and stop being grumpy and grouchy. Stop complaining. Give meaning to your life. Ma fille, moi je suis Jabez. J'ai l'honneur. Most honorable. Give meaning to your life. Amen. As a man thinketh, as he is, so he is. As a man thinketh, so he is. As you think, so you are. The way you think is just how you are. No kululu, no kalala. Just as you think. People are lying. I'm talking to you. This, as you think, is exactly how you are. Yeah. Hey, you. It's a graph. Anyway. You need a large the space of your tents. Enlarge the space of your tents. And, do, and, 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 and let them stretch out the curtain of your dwelling. Do not spare. Lengthen your cords and strengthen 
your sticks. For you shall ex. For you shall ex. Okay. Dieu va te lever. Yeah. You, you shall explain to the right, to the left, and you are descending with inherit the nation. But before all that the Lord promised you, before you can see any promise of the Lord, make room around yourself. Make room in your mind. Prepare your mind for greatness. We will talk about the mind. In our kingdom, our king always prepares the place before he ever blesses. Before God ever made birth, he said, let there be heaven. The heaven, God made the heaven. If God did not make the heaven, where would the bird fly when they are made? Mm. Prepare your mind. You are broken because your mind is on the old ways. That villa, your, your mind is always in the past. But then you must look forward and expect the promises of the Lord. Anyways, I'll close the song. Hallelujah. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. Amen. The devil knows it. You see? Satan cannot kill you. He cannot. Before Satan kills you, he has to have the okay of God. That's right. He cannot. But Satan can make sure that he maintains you in extreme poverty. He maintains you in a mentality of always defeated. Always. You see, let me tell you something. Satan is not an angel of warfare. He doesn't know how to handle sword. But Satan is an angel that knows how to use his words. Did God really say that you are not blessed? He did not come to Eden in the garden with sword. He never came to Jesus with any sword. There is another category of demon that knows how to handle sword and war. But then when he comes to the devil, he's a deceitful, deceitful angel. In another way, he can present the truth to be the fast and the fake to be the truth. So, so many Christians that sleep with us and they let the enemy play with their mind. And their spiritual life is dead. And they don't go anywhere. Oh, Jesus Christ de Nazareth. Aussi longtemps que l'héritier demain ne font. As long as they hear. Remain a child. He had no difference with the slave. And when I was fasting, the Lord told me, some Christians remain child in their mind. They don't make room in the mentality. May God have mercy on you. Amen. I say, may Jehovah have mercy on you. Amen. May God have mercy on you. Amen. Open your eyes. I say, open your eyes. Amen. I say, open your eyes. Amen. When I look, the spiritual atmosphere, the thing is not bad. The thing is not good. It looks like Jesus will come in 2020. <laughs> 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 it looks like by December, Jesus revealed the sun. Fred, this, Jesus come back in 2020. Amen. People are dying. Great people. Yeah. Maurice Oriro is gone. Mm -hmm. hey, the, the, I'm like, people are dying. The prime minister of my country is gone. After surgery, he came back from trying to work it dead. Dead, buried Sunday. I tell the other day, Friday. People are dying. I'm like, go. 2020 is scary. Go fast, fast. <laughs> President of Burundi. No. President of Burundi, dead, buried. And, and, and it, it happens soon. And then people forget about your life continue. Yeah. Regarde, Satan est en train de faire des choses. Et les enfants de Dieu dorment. The devil is working against the clock. Mm -hmm. Him and his agenda. He's exposing his agenda. And all the other, as Corona is coming here, the other people, people are dying on the other side. Yeah. And, and then, le diable malin, he met les enfants de Dieu. He put the children of God in destruction.
distraction. Yes. It worries. Yes. Everybody's distracting. Yes. Nobody's spiritually connecting. They are so heavy. They can even speak in tongues for a minute. They can even open the Bible for a second. They are all on the bed. Wait. You have prophesied that 2020 you will be blessed. Don't change your mind. Sit there and wait. Amen. He says, Jesus said in the book of Matthew 5, another parable. He said, you hypocrite. When you look at the weather, you see the wind, the sky, the, the cloud going this way, this way. You can therefore tell that this is going to be uh, the rain. How come when you study this movement, this thing right here, what is going on in people's life? <coughs> war here, war over there. Can't you tell that it's a sign of the end? Yes. Don't change your mind. Don't wake up to pray. Mm. Sit there, wait. Mm. I said, dog. You know what? Uh, Sister Denise, where is she? Go by bed. So we can give free to people so they can sleep at home. Mm. As, as a matter of fact, buy sleeping pill. So they can split, sleep more. Don't wake up. I said don't wake up. I said sleep well. He says, he says, Matthew 5, in the same book of Matthew, no, actually he was in Luke 12. In the same book of Matthew, Matthew 5, he said, you are, you are the light of the world. Mm. And you preach about this the whole day. He said, you are the, see, one thing is to have the light. Another thing is to, uh, to be the light. Mm. If you have something, it can be taken away. When you are something, it cannot be taken away. Mm. It is manifested because of how you think. Mm. When the Bible says you are the light, you are the light. Mm. You are. No, another says the Bible says, verse 13 of Matthew 5, they say, You are the salt. You are the salt. It doesn't mean you have salt. It means you are the salt. Now, if the salt loses its taste, how what will you do? Who will destroy it? So many people are losing taste of something. They are losing taste of love. They are losing taste of prayer. They are losing taste of faith. They are losing the taste of forgiveness. If you lose the taste of the good thing, what would you become? May God have mercy on you. Amen. Let me fast track. Fast forward. Matthew 7. No, actually, look. Look, I'll skip this. Look. Luke 12. 35. We're going to pray in a minute. Hey, Satan, did you, can I tell you something? Oh, uh, you say, Pastor, you got this, I see. But I don't, I don't, you know, you have to be. Um, can, I, can I tell you something here? Can I tell you something? You know, uh, last month, as people were cha cha cha, people they were distracting. As people were cha 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 in a jury in the same post, the back of the show online voice up, hey, people was as As people were doing cha cha cha, you know what happened in Dallas? I'll tell you when I was in Dallas. Can I tell you? Mm -hmm. When I was in Dallas, the One World Order organization, they were having a meeting in Dallas. You guys know what is the One World Order? No. Mm -hmm. yes. The One World Order were having a meeting in Dallas. The One World Order is an organization established by the Rockefeller.
So one curse. Huh? One curse. Yeah. One curse. Bring the thing back, boys. Hey, yeah. Let us wake up. Emga, let us wake up. <laughs> it's on that. Watch this. He says, no, we are going to pray. Get ready, okay? I'm almost done here. He says, let your waist be geared, right? In English, what be geared? Have you prepared one? Meta sent you. And your lamp, and your, and your, oh, your lamp burning. And your lamp burning. Your lamp is the light. Jesus was talking about. He said, You are the light. He said, Let your lamp burning. Your lamp is your life. Your lamp. Some people ask me, What kind of. Are you trying to pretend that you are most holy than as you are always fasting? I say, Look, let me tell you something. I will tell you the answer now. He say, Let your waist be key. In another word, stay ready. And your lip always burning. Okay? No problem. Next verse 36. And your and you yourself be like a man who wait for the master when he returns from the wedding then he comes and knock the, uh, the knocks knocks they may open to him immediately okay go straight to uh verse 40 actually 39 verse 39 Actually, no, please, sorry. Uh, Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Thank you. He said, and if it should come in the second watch, or in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants that are awake and they are not sleeping, waiting on the master. Verse 39. But notice, that if the master of the house had known what the hour will come, he will have watched and not allow his house to be broken into. Verse, 30, verse 40. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. My God. Look, he said, you don't know when the, the thief will come in your house. So therefore, prepare your gun. Put it under the pillow. Sleep with one eye. Have your other eye open. La villa on top part. In life, we don't sleep. You, you cannot sleep. You have to stay vigilant. You don't know where the attack will come. You don't know where the danger will come. You don't know how the enemy can take one person of your life. And you want to give yourself a little break. When the person, the invisible person, we are fighting against, you don't know how. Not this who call and say, hey, Eva, I'm coming in your house tomorrow. They will not warn you. They will just show up. And you are not ready to fight back. Yes. Reveillez-vous. I say, reveille toi I say, Reventua. Reventua. <laughs> Wake up. In our kingdom. Yes, our God fight for us. But we are vigilant. I just spoke about many things. It's many preaching contracts together. Can you stand up so we can pray? You need friend. Somebody told me the person to kill me is not ready, is not yet born. It's not born yet. Yeah. Because I am vigilant. Vigilant. You go to some places that give you water to drink. Pray. <laughs> because you don't know. You don't know who is who. In this time, you don't know who's the Jacusco. <laughs> You don't know who is a Jacuzco. Yes. You go places that serve you plates. Bless the plates. Yep. Father, I pray. By might and by fire. Bless the food. 
Sanctify the food with your blood. Yes. Then you eat because you don't know. Yes. People of God, if God can open your eyes so you can see what is being done in the darkness, we need grace. We need grace. Be a faithful steward. I see you are blessed. Amen. People watching me online, wake up. I'm talking to you. There is one of my spiritual daughters. Every time I call her, I say, wake up. You that is sleeping, she's laughing. Because every time when I call her, she's sleeping. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm resting. What are you doing? Oh, I'm sleeping. I say, hey, how long are you going to sleep? Oh, I wake up now. I say, you are lying. <laughs> People of God, wake up. Let your mind be renewed. Amen. Let your light stay on. Christian, let your light stay on. I need your tech Christian. You take your life. There is one, there is one, one I talked to the old day. They say, ah, Pastor, I am young. You think there is young, there is no young casket. There is young casket. Exactly. They say, he said, you think there's no small casket? There's casket even for you born. Live your life. There will design for every height. There's a casket. Casket, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh -huh. I have come. That's I have come to set fire again. I have come to set fire again. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I say, I have come to set fire again. Amen. I was I was in my hotel room in Dallas and I was praying. I was I was praying. I was quiet in my zone, taking some time with the Lord and praying. Said God, He said, Look, son, I'll bless you like Jabez, because you are a man of honor. Amen. But you are being pulled down. I said, By what? He said, By other people mentality. Mm. You are being pulled down. Yeah. I said, God, what can I do? He said, He said, Don't even look back. Just progress. Just go. I say, okay. You have given me green lights. I will progress. Everything I will have to do, I will do. For the Lord. Now it depends. Of how far you will not go. You see. One of the reasons why. Our life never changed. Is because we are too comfortable. With what we have. When God has blessed you with something, you think it's the last blessing you can have. You don't know that there is more here. So you are comfortable. You are okay. I'm not saying be greedy. I'm saying no. I'm saying, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 24, a little bit of slumber, a little bit of food in the hand, you will see poverty coming upon you. God did not design life to rest and be lazy. God designed life to attack it from the front. I can take me the microphone. Do you want to get your shoes? Merci d'être venu. Tu as été inspiré. Que Dieu te bénisse. Vous allez vous faire revenir. Corona ou pas, vous allez revenir. Puis on va servir Dieu. Voilà. Hallelujah! I have come to set the fire again. Because many Christians, the fire is gone. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Your white skin is broken. Take from me a microphone so we can fire prayer for 30 minutes. And people online watching me. I want you to pray with me in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want you to begin to fire prayer with me. Come on. You are sleeping too much. Wake up. Open your mind and begin to bless the Lord with me. Come on. Open your mind. You are watching me online. Open your mind and begin to bless with me. Uh -huh. Open your mouth and begin to play. Father, we thank you. Father, we want to bless 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 you. Father, we
bless your holy name this morning. We want to glorify your name this morning. We want to who now sit on the way of Osa Kako Kako as you tell a power seat of the Lord. Come on, your mind, your mind, your mind, your mind, your mind. This country without you, Father. no more. Mm -hmm. But he had a way to recognize his children. <laughs> God must have a way to recognize you. Amen. Oh, yes. you are not here. Yes. He had a way to recognize his children. Amen. There is one that has a lot of hair. Mm. This is Esau. Mm -hmm. There is another one, he doesn't, he is just there. This is Jacob. Now he said, watch this. He's a watch this. Ah, Esau. Go, get, my, get, yourself, get me an animal, cook for me, mm -hmm. so I can eat, that my soul bless you. It was not the blessing of the Lord, it was the blessing of his soul. So there is a type of blessing 
that comes from the soul of a man of God or anybody. It's not a blessing of the Lord. It is a blessing that comes from the soul. You see, so much to say. Now watch this. When the Lord blessed him, all his trouble began. His brother wanted to kill him, and he ran from the Lord. Can I tell you something? But blessing doesn't mean you sit and you fold your hand and you don't move your tail. That's not what blessing is. Blessing enables you to make fruitful or favor everything that you do. Until you are in the movement of doing something, blessing will never be manifested. Now watch this. The enemy is smart. He established another guy on the life of Jacob by the name of Laban. So Laban was a sweet talker. It is the image of Satan. Until one day Jacob stood up and said, mm, Enough is enough. I have to take my blessing, my possession. Laban which is the image of the deceiver was going to drink from Jacob. Spiritual warfare is in the mind, my people. When they have injected things in your mind, you are finished. That's why I say, we fight not against flesh and blood. But we fight against all this. Therefore, take ye upon yourself the helmet of salvation. Right? Salvation. Right? I think salvation. I, 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 Ephesians 6 12. The helmet. In another word, when you go for warfare, there is one part of your head that you have to protect, which is the image of your mind. Because the enemy makes people believe the wrong thing. How can you sleep and uh, spend one hour, two hours talking on the phone and less time praying? Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. I say, God, reconnect me to your divine power. Come on. Say, God, reconnect me to your divine power. I cannot hear you. Ooh, 
come to your life, you don't have control of it. You have to shine. But look, the problem is your authority, which is in your mind, is never manifested. It's not manifested. It is not manifested. See, in the Old Testament, it says, before you go to war, ask to the people there, if one of them has built a house, a house. Let him go back. Because he'll be scared to die and fight during the warfare. Let him go back. If one has a fiance, let him go back and marry his fiance. He will not go into war. Why? Because when you come to the battle of life and the war of life, you, you must give full concentration. You must you must give your full attention to any battle you are in. Mm. Any warfare that regards your career, that regards your destiny, that regards your children and tomorrow, it takes your full attention. Lift up your hands. 
Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. I cannot hear you. You can shout louder than that. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray, As I, begin to pray I claim my authority. I my authority. And I manifest the anointing. I manifest the anointing. And I manifest the anointing that is deposited onto my life. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, so my, my father, my father. Louder, my father, my father. I manifest my authority and my anointing. As I begin to pray, I put on my elements of prayer, of fasting. In the name of Jesus, as I clap my hand, let that authority be manifested in the realm of the spirit and on our hands. In the name of Jesus, fire prayer with me. My father, my father, that 
I receive a double anointing of what you have. I want double. I want double of your anointing. The boy was waiting. The boy has been watching the master. The boy was cooked in the mind. He was burning. The boy was on fire. The boy was ready. He said, look, what you are asking is hard. But because your mind is ready for it, if you see me going, you will receive it. There are some people that are hard for God, some things that are hard for God to give to us. But because our mind expects from God so much, if I don't know, watch this. When the father was leaving, the anointing in the middle fall. And then, if it was you, you will ask yourself a question. Where is the double portion? You stand there. You will not know what to do. But the, the mental of the father fall on the ground. Now Elisha begin to look in the bush. He begin to look in the trees and he found the mantle. And he grabbed him as soon as he reached out and grabbed the mantle. The transfer was made. The spiritual atmosphere right now is this. It's messed up. At the moment I'm speaking, the spiritual activity is around. He said, my father, my father, chariots of fire. At the very moment the heaven opened. And Elijah went up. Elijah went up. But the boy took the mentor. When the mind is ready for something, you will never be told what to do. <laughs> That's free revelation for you. When your mind is ready for something, you will never be told what to do. He grabbed the mentor. He went to the German river. He said, I got it. My father, my father. And he's so much Spirit wide open. Il y a tellement de choses là dans le spirituel pour toi. You say if you see, then you will have it. If you see me go, then you will have the double. He never told him my mentor will fall. If you take it, then you have it. In another word, what Elisha was telling to Elisha, be watchful. From the moment, now, from now, till I go, watch. Watch everything. Don't be distracted. Just watch. Because at any moment, something can happen. If you are distracted, you miss it. He said, watch. Watch everything I do. Watch everything. Watch. Some disciples are not watchful. Some disciples are not watchful. They don't watch anything. That's why the thief come and steal the grace. So watch at any moment you have it at any moment what you are being tested for from Jericho to the Jordan to Gilgal what you are being tested for just watch just open your eyes and see because at any moment
lift up your hand. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Today, today, let my spirit be alert. Let my spirit be alert. In the name of Jesus. Any curtain. Louder, any curtain. Louder, any curtain. Overshadowing my mind. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. As I clap my hand. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Burn it down. Burn it fire. Prayer. Hey, is that how you pray? What are you doing? Is that how you pray?
touch what your father has not touched. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. I say you are blessed. Amen. I say you are blessed. Amen. May the Lord open your eyes. Amen. May the Lord open your eyes. Amen. May you see vision. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord catapult you to the next level. Amen. May the Lord catapult you to the next level. Amen. No warfare in your mind. Amen. No warfare in your mind will take over you. Amen. Any warfare in your mentality, in your mind, I destroy in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command your mind to be still. Amen. And trust in the Lord. Amen. I command your mind to be at peace. Amen. And trust in the Lord. Amen. I command you to prosper. Amen. Let the blessing that was given to you from the beginning of time be manifested. I said, let the blessing that was given to you from the beginning, beginning of time be manifested. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord make you happy. Amen. May you overflow. Amen. I said, may you overflow. Amen. Oh, may you overflow. Amen. May you step in a new dimension. Amen. Oh, I do not hear amen. Amen. Give me a mighty amen. Amen. Louder amen. Amen. May you step in a new dimension. Amen. May you step in a new dimension. Amen. May you move in a new realm of glory. Amen. May you testify of the goodness of the amen. Lord. May you see future. Amen. May you see blessing. Amen. May you be crowned with honor. Amen. I say you are crowned with honor. Amen. May the Lord expand your territory. Amen. Your mind will not limit you. Amen. Your mind will not limit you. Amen. The devil shall not limit you. Amen. Your friend shall not limit you. Amen. Your family shall not limit you. Amen. Your bloodline shall not limit you. Amen. Your friend shall not limit you. Amen. Your partner shall not limit you. Amen. People will not limit you. Amen. The earth is not your limit. The earth is not your limit. The heaven is not your limit. Nothing is your limit. Your mind is not your limit. Only God is your limit. Amen. Only God is your limit. Amen. May you see the impossible. Amen. I said, may you see the impossible. Amen. May you be favored. Amen. The Lord has favored you. Amen. I said, 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 you are blessed. Amen. I said, you are blessed. Amen. I said, you are blessed. Amen. The heaven is open. Amen. And uh, I see uh, my feet. Yeah. Can I prophesy? Amen. You see, I've left the gift of prophecy. Amen. Make two step backward. And you know, Amen. there is something that fights you, my daughter. Is that right? There is something that fights you very well. Okay. Don't worry, okay? <laughs> Don't even mind anybody here. They, they have their own demon.
But as that year, Mary, you are blessed. Huh? You did not hear what I said. <laughs> Mary, you are blessed. Amen. Mary, come. I see that. Are we still on live? What is no? We can let that we know. Okay. I should confirm in my book. We don't have what comes. Amen. Amen. Prepare your offering. 